In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can blacklist words with stream elements. My name is Rui and I have extremely support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, as we every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time, on twitch.tv slash Rui. If you have any questions about streaming, just hop in and ask them. The first thing we want to do is go to streamelements.com and log in with any streaming platform. For me, that's Twitch, so I will log in with my Twitch. Let me scroll down until we see something called spam filters. It is under the bot tab, so if you do not see it, just unfold the bot tab. And then click on the spam filters. Now we see this. Okay, so what I want you to do is check some things real quick. Make sure cap protection and emote protection is off. I'm saying this because a lot of people that rate you will use caps and emotes and you don't want to accidentally ban them. So definitely turn those off if you have them on right now. I know this video is not about that, but I just want to protect you right here. So what we do now is we turn on ban words. So make sure that this is to the right and looks blue. And then click on edit. Then here we can add our black words. Click on create new group. And now we can have a timeout link. So for example, this one will be timeout for 500 seconds. And this will be, um, very bad words. I'm just making some categories so you guys can see. Exclude level, let's say that um, subscribers cannot be timed out by this. Um, well, unless we like do some really bad one, then nobody is getting true. So now everybody with these very bad words will be banned for 500 seconds. Ban reason, use of very bad word. So this is just the reason they see when they get banned. And then we can add words here. So let's let's add words. You can also add phrases. So I'm just adding some things. I'm not actually adding bad words because I don't want to get demonetized. I don't want to be sh them shown on my YouTube channel. So I do not actually put them in here. We can also like exclude regular per words. So we can also take that on, but we don't want that for this word, right? So we just save this and now Literally the sentence, the n-word is banned. Obviously we don't actually want to ban people that say this, uh, but if they do actually say the n-word, then we definitely want to ban them. So if you put that in here, uh, then somebody gets banned um, when they use it. And we can add more, more by just doing this and we can just say uh, C. Now if somebody says the letter C, they will get a timeout for 500 seconds, but you guys know what I mean, right? We can uh, add some bad words in here and we can add as many as we want we can add sentences whatever we want and then we can just turn this on so now if somebody says one of these three words they will get a 500 seconds timeout what we can do is we can even create a new group but not that bad words <laughs> and they get only a timeout of 200 seconds and we will allow subscribers to say these words Ben Reason, uh, watch your, your mouth. I cannot type, but just leave that, huh? I can just not type. So, uh, for example, damn, and then we save that. Obviously, damn is not that bad if you ask me, so, you know, it's in here. Uh, donation. So this is what you don't think are not that bad of a word, so you want to give a less of a timeout for them. Uh, and then we just turn them on as well. So now, if somebody says, damn, they get a timeout of 200 seconds. But if somebody says the word um, C, then uh, they get a 500 second timeout. If you set the timeout to one second, they only timed out for just a bit, but that will remove their messages. So if you don't like giving timeouts, but you want the words to be gone, you can do that by just typing a one in here. And then to make this work 100%, we need to go to our Twitch and then go to our chat and type slash mod stream elements and then press enter. So now stream elements is a moderator. So now it's allowed to do a lot of things in your chat. It's like timeouting people. It's kind of convenient if they can actually time out people. So just make sure that you make stream elements a moderator in your Twitch chat. So you can make as many categories as you want and add as many words in as you want. Just see what you think are inappropriate words to use in your chat, in your stream. That was pretty easy, right? But I got a lot more tutorials about stream elements, so just hop into this playlist with me and I will see you there. <laughs>